Welcome to OneNote Obsessed Digital Planner World. In this video tutorial, I will show how to install the OneNote Digital Planner on your PC, and from there, to any of your mobile devices. Since Microsoft OneNote is a cloud-based application, installation of the planner to Microsoft OneDrive will make your digital planner available on any of your mobile devices, either Windows, Android, or iOS-based. To summarize, you can have access to your digital planner from any mobile device, where you can install the Microsoft OneNote app. For example, any generation of your iPhone or iPad, Galaxy phone or tablet, Surface Pro and Go, Google Pixel and some new type of digital ink devices like Books, Note Air and Tab Ultra that runs on Android 11. This installation instruction would be exactly the same for any year of the digital planner, or any other digital notebook series from the OneNote Obsessed shop. In our installation example, I would use OneNote Digital Planner 2023. When you purchase your digital planner, you receive a PDF instruction with the link to share digital files via Google Drive. Or if you purchase directly from the OneNote Obsessed website, then you will receive these exact digital files from the website directly. When you open a shared Google Drive link, you will see two types of digital files. The first file is a zip file of the digital planner for Microsoft OneNote Windows 10, and the second file would have an extension of .1pkg file for OneNote 2016, or any version of OneNote desktop app that supports 1pkg files. Our PDF instruction contains installation steps for both versions of Microsoft OneNote for Windows 10 and OneNote, also known as OneNote 2016. Currently, there are two official versions of Microsoft OneNote, OneNote for Windows 10, which is the OneNote app that is pre-installed on all editions of Windows 10. And another version is just a OneNote, formerly called OneNote 2016, the free desktop app that runs on all supported versions of Microsoft Windows, and is part of the Office 2019 and Office Microsoft 365. You can use whichever version of OneNote, or use both Windows versions side by side. The main installation steps of the Teal Digital Planner using OneNote Importer method. Recommended for OneNote Windows 10, but could be used for any version of OneNote desktop app. Step number 1. Please download the Digital Planner zip file. The Chrome browser may give you a warning of not being able to preview or not able to scan files for viruses, but you can ignore these standard warnings related to any zip files and continue with your download. Usually, you will find your downloaded file in your default download folder. Step number 2. Please unzip the file that you have just downloaded using the right click and then choose the option either Extract here or Extract Files. If you choose the latter, then you would need to specify in what folder you want to save your planner file on your computer. Regardless of how you choose to extract files or where to save them, please remember where you have saved your digital planner extracted files because for the next step of the installation process, using the OneNote importer method you would need to use only unzipped extracted files of the digital planner. Step number 3. To use OneNote importer method, we strongly recommend opening either Google Chrome browser or Microsoft Edge. There have been multiple installation issues reported while using other browsers such as Safari, Firefox, and some others. If you experience any issues during the installation process using different browsers, please refer to this article, Export and Import OneNote Notebook Support, on the Microsoft website. Using the Google Chrome browser, you need to open the OneNote importer by copying and pasting this OneNote importer link into your browser. Next, if you are not logged into your Microsoft account, then the next window will ask you either to log in or sign up for a Microsoft account. Once you logged in, OneNote Notebook Importer will load in your browser, and you will see a purple button to import. Please click Import, and then navigate to the location of your unzipped extracted digital planner files. Make sure to select the entire folder, and then click Upload. Step number 4. After you select to upload, you will see a confirmation message, which will ask you if you want to upload these 24 files to your Microsoft Cloud-based account on OneDrive. The quantity of these files may vary and depend on the specific digital planner or any other notebook. Confirm to upload one more time, then proceed with the actual importing process. Note that the import of the files to the Microsoft OneDrive account may take a few minutes, depending on the internet connection and speed. On average, a regular-sized digital planner notebook may take between 5 to 10 minutes. If for some reason, it takes much longer, please refer to support on import and export of OneNote notebooks on the Microsoft website. Step number 5. 
When you will open the digital planner in your browser for the first time, you may notice that pages may be load with some delay. This delay is normal because the planner uses imported images as a set background. Second, you may also notice a misalignment of the hyperlinks, and where hyperlinks will appear in their original blue color in the clickable tabs area of the planner. However, this is a temporary appearance, and once you open this planner in your OneNote desktop on your PC or Mac, all hyperlinks will be perfectly aligned with their corresponding tabs, and the color of hyperlinks will be shaded to match the color of the tabs. Step number 6. To open the digital planner in the desktop version of your OneNote you need to click View on the top ribbon, and then choose Open in Desktop App. Once you do that, you will see that the planner will open in OneNote Desktop with a similar delay in loading the images, but only for the first time. Furthermore, all hyperlinks would be perfectly aligned with their tabs and the shade color used for hyperlinks will completely blend in with the tabs making that desired stylish look of the teal digital planner. Step number 7. The next important and highly recommended step would be to remove the author's initials, making the planner look even cleaner. You will do this by finding the view on a top ribbon and selecting Hide Author's Initials as the last option on the far right, and you immediately see that all author initials disappeared from all text boxes. Step number 8. After the digital planner was imported and saved to a cloud-based OneDrive of your Microsoft account, you should be able to open your planner notebook on any of your mobile devices based on Windows, iOS, or Android that supports OneNote app. To open the Teal Digital Planner on your mobile phone from your OneDrive Microsoft account, please do the following. In OneNote app on your mobile phone tap More Notebooks at the bottom of your notebooks list. Then, locate the Teal Digital Planner, in our example the Planner 2023, from all the notebooks that are stored on your OneDrive. After that, the planner is ready, and you can easily navigate to its sections and pages. The main installation steps of the OneNote Digital Planner for OneNote 2016, or method of importing one PKG file directly to OneNote Desktop App. Step number 1. The first step of the installation for the Digital Planner for OneNote 2016 version would be very similar to the installation of the OneNote Windows 10 version. First, you will proceed with the download of the shared digital files via Google Drive, but in this case, you will choose the second file that has the extension of 1.pkg, which is a file extension for a Microsoft OneNote package file. Step number 2. Please open your OneNote 2016 application on your PC, then go to the file in the left upper corner and click Open. Step number 3. Look for Other Locations and click Browse. Then navigate to the location of the digital planner.1pkg file that is by default saved in your downloads folder. Step number 4. This step is very important. Please make sure that you will select the following file type OneNote single file package asterisk 1pkg from the file name drop down list. This action will make this type of file visible and you will be able to find planner.1pkg file and open the planner into your OneNote desk app notebooks. Remember, when you open the digital planner for the first time, the pages may be load with some delay. Next time, the pages will load normally. This concludes the installation of the Teal Digital Planner for both versions of OneNote for Windows 10 and OneNote, also known as OneNote 2016. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section or email them to us directly. Thank you for watching.